I wasn't going to make a video about these perfumes. I didn't even know that there were new vanilla perfumes at Zara, but one of you mentioned it in the last Zara Infusion video. So of course I had to try them the day after. Thank you so much for your comment. And because I like both of them a lot, I, I have to do a video about them. Also, there is another one that I uh, smelled in the store called Sensual Oud, which I feel a certain kind of way about. So I'm going to include that one in here as well. And when I just looked up the notes, I saw that they have, I think, four new perfumes already. It's it's crazy it's crazy and you can tell me if you want um, reviews of those sour perfumes or if you're not interested uh, in them at all i can understand both because I'm not too sure about it anymore I love that Zara is affordable I love that Zara has decent quality perfumes some of them more than others and I have favorites in my collection from Zara that I do wear a lot so I'm always interested in them but of course I am like most of us very annoyed about the constant new collections and then also discontinuing collections that have been out for I don't know three to six months it's it's crazy but anyway let's jump in to my reviews so there is sensual vanilla there's angelic vanilla and then as i said the sensual oud and then the new collection which i think is called rose and yeah i i think a lot of those perfumes sound good as well if you like rose let's begin with sensual vanilla sensual vanilla has the main accords of sweet gourmand and creamy with top notes of and i'm going to tell you it is a almost spot on dupe for another perfume so i'm interested to see if you guess the perfume but the top notes are lavender candied berries bergamot and rose and the heart you have vanilla apple blossom lily and jasmine and in the base you have vanilla amber heliotrope musk and sandalwood so this one is almost a spot-on dupe for Billie Eilish Eilish which is a perfume I have in my collection and I like and I wear and yeah I didn't buy essential vanilla just because I have Eilish and I don't need both of them but it's such a good rendition of that perfume to me, it seems a little bit more smooth, a little bit more quiet and maybe slightly more sweet. Some of you told me that they think in the dry down it reminds them of the Supreme Vanilla without the very strange ink note. So I can agree it's not like Supreme Vanilla, but I get like the a little bit deep and smoky vanilla in the background i i know what you mean to me it's a very nice perfume also what i was shocked about is the performance because on my skin at least i could smell it eight hours in it wasn't a beast but eilish is not a beast either so that was very positively shocking to me because the performance is actually very good and I just had like two sprayers on my hand and um, I feel like if you want a more cheap alternative to Eilish or if you don't own it and you want to try if you like it you can just try that one because it is quite simply very 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 similar so I don't have a lot to say about this perfume because it's it's almost identical to me and on my skin as i said it's a lot more quiet maybe a little bit more smooth a little bit more vanilla-y the other one has this almost dry powder like cocoa powder thing going on that this one hasn't but 
it's nice it's very nice then we have angelic vanilla and i love the name it sounds very nice um this one has the main accords of sweet woody floral fruity and powdery with the notes of in the top almond blossom and bergamot and the heart myrrh and rice and rose and in the base musk tonka bean vanilla and woods and this one i didn't know the notes i just smelled it and i was not sure because i was thinking of other perfumes that it reminds me of and i have to look at my notes because it was like so many things at once but i do regret not getting it because i did not get it but now i feel like i would like it i would like to have it in my collection i have similar perfumes but i don't know so angelic vanilla was a mix of different perfumes that i know of and i also have in my collection so it reminded me First of Gentle Fluidity Gold by MFK, also Rose Gourmand, which is from Zara and it is in their current collection, but it was a little bit more ricey. On my skin it has this almost like starchy thing and I like that a lot. And then as it developed on my skin, it reminded me a lot of the newest rendition of Cherry Smoothie, also by Zara. So they duped themselves, basically. So it has this almost cherry blossom thing going on. It is quite sweet and like a vanilla powder. It's quite powdery as well. And it was such a comforting, cozy, beautiful, elegant, easy to wear perfume because cherry smoothie to me is not round enough i do not wear it on its own gentle fluidity gold and rose gourmand a lot of times are a little bit too much for me and angelic vanilla had all of it but a little bit more quiet so i feel like i do have all of those perfumes in my collection but they are a little bit too much of something and I would have to like mix everything together to make it a little bit more wearable for me and with this one I would not have to so I like it a lot thing is it is very quiet very quiet also the longevity was about four to five hours on my skin I would say one to two hours it was just a skin scent and even sprayed freshly it wasn't a beast at all by no means <laughs> was it a very strong perfume very moderate to quite weak but i don't know for days where i just want to feel cozy or it's very rainy i want something comforting this is a comforting cozy scent that doesn't smell like a lot of other comfy cozy scents if you know what i mean so as you can see i do like it a lot and then for the last perfume that i want to talk about today this is sensual oud and i was quite surprised to see an like a standalone oud perfume being released i don't know if they have other perfumes in the oud collection coming out but this has the main accords of spicy leathery woody floral with fragrance notes of leather patchouli saffron amber clove rose and sandalwood and i was very unsure because this to me is a straight up oud scent like a very typical middle eastern smelling oud scent it did not smell like your oud wood or your western type of ouds it was a very typical middle eastern quite linear simple strong oud scent with rose of course because they always tend to combine oud and rose and also the leather was quite strong on my skin i 
I'm not a fan of that DNA. I don't wear those perfumes at all, doesn't matter where they are from. I have Oud Isperhan by Dior Privé in my collection as a small size and I do feel like it reminds me of that one. But Oud Isperhan is maybe even a touch more western than the Zara one is. To me it's quite spicy, it's very dry, it's a woody oody rose and it's very classic. It smells expensive, it's not a cheap smelling fragrance at all. I would not have guessed Sensual Oud to be from Zara. Just the performance is what reminds me of Zara because it's not as beast mode as other original Middle Eastern perfumes um, would be. A lot of those are beast mode, very intense, very strong, long lasting. This one has a good longevity as well. Don't get me wrong, especially for Zara, actually very good, but it's not a beast mode perfume on my skin at least. But on the other hand, it would be far too much if it would be a beast mode perfume. So if you like your classic oud rose perfumes, Middle Eastern perfumes, and you maybe want something more appropriate for the daytime, something that is not as extremely loud as others, Sensual Oud could be a good one. I also feel like it is leaning definitely unisex, maybe even a touch more masculine because to me I fail to see anything maybe slightly vanilla-y or sweet or a little bit more floral than just the rose because the rose with the Oud is so... I don't know, uninnovative that I don't even feel like it is feminine at all to me, if you know what I mean. So yeah, Sensual Oud is good, but it's not my perfume DNA. Sensual Vanilla is very good. If you want Billie Eilish Eilish for cheaper, get this one. Or if yours is empty, you could try it. And Angelic Vanilla is such a beautiful, mm, not extremely innovative, but still nice perfume that is just cozy and comforting. And now that I talk about it, I regret not getting it, but I can just order it right now. So I think that is what I'm going to do. But this was my review of those three new perfumes from Zara. Let me know if you've tried them. Let me know what you think of them. And of course, let me know if you want the Rose Collection reviewed or if you're saying like, I don't care. Yep. Yeah. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye.